Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'd Ahabita fillah The Quran is the perfect speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Kalam Allah And the mu'min and the Muslim should be ever vigilant in reciting the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and making this dhikr of Allah azza wa jal. And the one who does so has special status with Allah azza wa jal and will find the nur and the light of the Quran in their hearts bi idnillah ta'ala. An Uthmana ibn Affan radiyallahu ta'ala anhu qal Qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Khayrakum man ta'allam al-Qur'ana wa'allamuhu ru'ahu Bukhari In this hadith in Sahih al-Bukhari The hadith of Uthman ibn Affan radiyallahu ta'ala anhu He said That the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said, The best of you is those who learn the Quran and teach it. Ru'ahu Bukhari. In this hadith, Ahabat Tafillah, there are immense benefits. And from amongst those benefits, is this hadith shows us that the person, the best of the people, are those who. Jamal Wasfain, those people who combine those two characteristics mentioned in this hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And those two characteristics, ahabat are that they ta'allam al-Qur'an wa allamuhu, that they learn the Qur'an and they teach it. Another benefit of this hadith, this hadith encourages us to recite and learn the Quran and to read it properly in that we can worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with the Quran. That we can recite the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that we can draw nearer to Allah azza wa jal. Another benefit of this hadith is this hadith shows us that also that learning the Quran and teaching it includes both learning it as far as recitation and uh you know just be, be, and learning to to read the Quran properly and it includes learning the tafsir the meaning of the Quran so that one can reflect and ponder on the speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the last benefit of Habit and there are many benefits of this hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, is this shows us, this hadith shows us that the one who gives importance to the Quran, then this is evidence of their khayriya, of their, their greatness, or that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, has favored them and given this, given them this, uh, this fadl, this great benefit, and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wassalamu alaikum wa sallam ala Muhammad.